Okay, how it works and how to use uh, the Hush engine. The first thing is that you have to open the editor.exe and here you have the, the full, the completely editor. The first thing you, you have to do is create a new scene. So here in the scene tab, I will create a scene like test scene and I will hit create. And once I do did this, uh, the scene will be already set up so I can go to the background and change everything and I, I can change the mist settings that will not work right now because there is nothing in the scene so the second uh, step is to actually add something in the scene so here in the scene tree you will be able to see all the entities inside the scene so I can add an entity I recommend you to add a camera first just to control the, the field of view so if I select the camera in the inspector, I can see all the components and I can click to expand and see what's going on. I will, I will leave it as is for now and I will add a directional light so will you will you be able to see what's going on a little bit better and a mesh. In order to, to see the mesh, I will click in the mesh here and if I expand the mesh component, you will be able to see that I have nothing selected. So let me create a material first. So I'll go to the material tab here and clicking new material. There is a default name, so I can click in create and I already will have a new material here. So I can go to material and select and select the material. I'm sorry. So now the only thing left to do is to add a new mesh, but there is no mesh here at this moment, because if you go and take a look at the asset uh, tab, there is nothing here. How to add a new mesh here? Uh, if you take a look at the, the file, at the download, the file downloaded, there is a data folder. And if I open this data folder and paste anything here, the engine will recognize this thing as an asset. So let me drag and drop, for example, a .blend file. Let me copy this and I can paste uh, textures and everything that I want and paste this dot blend file here in the data so if i open the hush engine again you will be able to see an object to dot blend here and that's enough i can go here in the mesh oops I, can, I need to expand i'm sorry uh to load this file so if i go to mesh i will be able to select from here so let me select the cylinder you're gonna see that everything uh went black because uh the camera is inside the cylinder so if i press ask with my cursor, you're gonna be able to see that the uh, first person controller is loaded. So I can use W, A, S, and D to, to move space and shift as well and use my camera to, to take a look. So this is the basic setup. I can press ask to, uh, to go outside the, the mouse look. And if I have an object selected, I can like press G to move this object, I can press X to move in the X in the X axis, Y or Z to move in the Y or Z axis, and once I'm done, I can press ESC or Enter to apply this thing. Okay, uh, I will change it later to use the the left mouse button because I think it's better. But for now, it's th is this. I can press S to scale the object, and the same with with X, Y, and Z. Okay. So I can press ask, ask to apply this and I can press R to rotate the object, okay? And ask to apply again, okay? Very simple and if I get lost for some reason like, oh, where's my object? I don't know. Well, I can press C with the object selected. Oops, it doesn't work. I, I still have to work on it. <laughs> but in theory, the, the key C will centralize the, the object, okay? But here we go. Of course, if I drag and drop a texture to this uh, to this material, let me drag and drop this one, like the the brick specular, normal map, and diffuse, and go to my material options here, and I, exp I and I click in the edit material. If I select my material it's selected by default i can expand the diffuse for example and select my textures oops i need to open to load it this is a little bit boring i will fix that but for now you have to open the texture to, to load it okay 
and I can select my stuff here uh, in order to, to load it. At this moment, there is a problem here that I have to, to change the material in order to apply the, the texture. That's a bug. Let me create another material like test. That's a bug. I'm going to fix that. Don't worry. Uh, let me select this test and then I'll select my, my material back. And if you see, I have the, the texture here that I added. Let me change back to material. This is. Oops. All right. My, my microphone. Okay. This is not the specular and I will select my normal map here real quick. And it will expand the normal influence. I will have, I will get right of this bug in the next update, by the way. But let me go back and select my material again. Uh, let me reset all this transform. So I will expand the transform tab. And if I hold control and click, I will be able to manually uh, type the numbers. All right. So here we go. I have all my materials set up. If I change this directional light, actually I will add a point light here. This is the point light. I can, I can change the color and I can move this to the side a little bit and you will be able to see it working, okay? So this is a quick tutorial and one last thing, you can hit save here in the, uh, in the top left. We can hit file and save project and you will be able to see that a material.hush mat will be created due to this material. And if you see here, the test scene.hush scene will be created. So if I close the editor and open it again, let me open, let me go back, open the editor. I will be able to select my hush scene and click in op and click open scene to actually open it. So it's here again okay so this is the tutorial i hope you enjoy it it's still work in progress so i will improve some stuff but i will appreciate if i see some feedback because as i said this is a work in progress and i'm trying to improve this okay so i see you in the next video thanks for watching